Al here, a fish of John Hattercom, and in this video, I'm going to share something quite incredible with you that I think is really going to help you when trying to find good profit targets. So let's get straight into it. Do not place a trade based on what you're seeing in this video today because trading is risky and it can cause substantial financial loss. There are so many areas you need to become good at to become a good trader. Emotional mastery, chart reading, trading systems, money and trade management. So this video is just educational only to help you become a much better trader. All right, let's get straight into today's video. Today's video, I want to talk to you about how to find or finding good profit targets in your trading. Now, if you're trading stocks this works really really well if you're trading stocks if you're trading any market out there it works really 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 well now I've noticed this more on the stock market or stocks than other markets out there but it does work it does work out there as well too okay and, and I'll show you what I'll show you what I mean in a minute um, we're gonna get to the charts in just a minute but I want to give you an analogy on the whiteboard first and then we can get to, to the charts now let me let, let me explain one thing here most, if you're trading, say the stocks, right? I'm a big, I'm a big stock trader. Um, I trade options over stocks and so on and so forth. If you're trading stocks, um, then or, or you're trading any market out there, then generally what happens is your market or your market or your stock that you're trading, um, and and again, different different markets vary. If there are different markets, different different markets vary. Remember, there's institutional traders that are trading this, and so this is something I learned from uh, one of my big mentors, one of my top mentors, a while ago. And think about this, who is pushing the market around? The top institutional traders, right? And generally they're, like, they're, they're, they're either pushing it up or they're, they're trying to make a certain amount of profit in a certain amount of time. Okay? A certain amount of profit in a certain amount of time. Now I want you to listen to this, okay? When time and price are supposed to be equal, okay? So generally what will happen is you'll see stocks ranging um, very closely to the legs that's been happening, over, especially over the last, say, six months or so, you can see how much those legs have been. Now, let me explain what I mean here. Um, in, a, in a market, you'll see the market run up through here, and then the market will push down. And then you see the market run up through here, and then the market will push down. And the market runs up through here, and the market might push down through here. The market pushes through here, and the market push, push through there. Okay, so you with me so far? Pretty simple, right? But here's the thing is that you might notice, okay, cool, this one here as a percent, oh, this was a, this was a 20% rise overall before it started to pull back. Oh, look, this one here, this one here is a 18%. Oh, look, this one here, I'm going to keep the figure simple, this one here is, oh, it's a 17%. So you can see roughly, and, and just call this a couple, of, just call this a couple months time frame. You can see roughly that the legs have reached a maximum of twenty percent, a, a maximum of twenty percent increase that 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 stock or that market has moved up in that direction in total, and and the lowest has been seventeen percent. And then something you measured the down legs. Um, here you must say, okay, cool. When the market's in an uptrend. The down legs, this 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 down this this pullback here might be say, uh, let's just call it um, a a ten percent pullback. Okay, so it's a ten percent pullback, and this one here is an eight percent pullback. So you can see, okay, look, if we're in an upward market, and the market's making high peaks, high troughs, then the pullbacks, this has been a ten percent pullback, and this one here's been an eight percent pullback. Okay, so you can see, okay, roughly you could expect if you were counter trend trading in the opposite trend, then you could expect that. You just say, hang on a minute, but when the market's going down, you can say, okay, cool, look, we had a 20%, we had 20% drop here, and we had a 22% drop here. Makes sense, and then the market might go up a little bit more, and then it might have another drop, and then it might make a, a 20, just say, yeah, just say a 21% drop before it has a little pullback. Makes sense? And so the market, the market does this, not, the market doesn't do this, you know, it's not random, that you see this. So we're going to get to the charts right now, guys. I'm going to show you a few charts. We're just going to have a few charts, and I'm going to show you examples of what I'm looking at right now, some, some trade that I'm in right now, and where I'm looking to take profit and so on and so forth, based on what we're learning here 
based on okay, we're not just going to set a, a a a profit a profit target based on what we think. No, we're going to we're going to let the stock or that market tell us where the, where a good range is. Okay, so um, anyway, guys, without further ado, let's get to the chart. All right, traders. So let's get straight into the chart segment, and let me actually show you what I mean here by the by the moves and stuff like that. So. I'm looking at a particular stock right now, and I've just, I, I just haven't, um, yeah. So I just, I just haven't, I've got all the indicators down the bottom and stuff like that, because you just, all you need is really see the the price action in the chart itself. So I'm in a particular trade. I'm in a really funky trade right now with, uh, with this here, right? And uh, and the market and um, and the market's going down, and and, I, and I'm profiting nicely from it. So the question I, you know, ask yourself is how far can this market run? And basically, the question is, how far does the market normally run when you start to get these bearish and bullish moves? So let's actually scroll this chart back here for a minute, and let's actually just go back to here. This this point through here, you can see that what we have here right now is basically uh, close to twelve months worth of data on the on the charts. Okay. Now remember, I said before, institutions want to make the same amount of money, same amount of time. So if you just measure from the top to, to the top of this move down to the next move, you can see this here was a thirty percent drop. This one here was a 20 was a 20 percent drop and then went went down as much as a 30 percent drop again you can see that there right the exact same amount of price from the high here to the low here that one there was a 18 percent drop and then the market started crawling up but then the market started going back down again right so you had this drop down here that was a 20 percent drop from there to there you had a 25 percent drop from there to there you had a 35 percent drop um you can see that one wasn't a big drop um just a small drop you can see this one here from there to there that was a 29% drop from the high here down to the low here. That one there was about a 20% drop. So as you can see, just by looking at this chart here, you can actually see, okay then, so we can see on a small scale, it dropped about 20%, roughly about 20%. On a big scale, it goes about 20 at 30% or so. So I'm in a trade right now on this here. And as you can see, the market has already gone down um, around about that 19 about 19 to 20 percent somewhere around about there okay yeah so about 22 percent okay so once it starts getting a bit lower once it gets down to here um, which will be 30 percent it's the exact same it's the exact same 30 percent is from the high to the low that's that's 32 percent from the high to the low that's 20 percent okay so you can see here that they're that they're not exact but you can see that by looking at that, it can really, really, um, it really gives you a guide. Okay, then, what's the minimum that this runs, and what's the maximum this daily runs before it turns around? Okay, so let's have a look here. Let's actually go through and we'll have a look at this one here. Okay, we'll have a look at this stock here. Now, again, I'm on, I'm in, I'm in this stock as well too, and um, and you can see here, guys. So we're gonna, we're gonna look at this down move through. Okay, and, we, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna just measure the down moves and see how far it, it drops. Okay, so from uh, once we start across the band, so let's go from this one here. This one here was a was a seven percent drop. This one here was a, an eight percent drop. This one here was a six percent drop. Obviously, that was a big big drop. So you're not going to class that. Not going to class that there. From the high to low, that one there was a ten percent drop. From this high to low, this was uh, was a ten percent drop, and the market's gone sideways. So. We have roughly a 10% drop in the markets, right? So if the market does start to move, if the market does start to move, and even on the high side, you can see, look, a 10% on the high side, 10% on the high side, or actually 6% on the high side. So I know anywhere from 5 to 10%. When this market starts to move, it's likely to move that much. So a 5 to 10%, so the market is likely to move roughly up there if it does start to, where the next move is going to be. Or if it does move 10%, then we're likely to see probably, you know, a, a you know, a drop down towards these lows through here if the market really starts to pick up on this particular stock here. So as you can see, guys, this is what I'm looking at here, and this is where you can see. Just have a look at that. Now it doesn't work all the time, but if you go back in time, you'll be able to see the moves. This one here from high to low, that was their 13% move. Okay, from this high to this low. That was a 8% move, okay? And then you had, obviously, 5% move, a 6% move, 
a 6% move and then you had a bigger run which was a 10% move and then you had look at that 6% move again this one here 5% move and then you had this one here which is a 10% move so you can see on average if it's going to run this stock it's going to run a minimum of 5 to 6% before it starts topping out now how do you know when it's likely to start topping out well then one you can start to keep an eye on the bars right you can still keep an eye on the bars and the market starts topping out it starts to create you know um, some sideways bars you can see sideways bars through here sideways bars before it drops off a few sideways bars a few sideways bars and so on and so forth right so that's what happens in this market in an uptrend okay same for a downtrend when the market drops down you can see the stock here generally goes sideways for a little bit before before going up down sideways and so on and so forth so anyway guys i hope you've enjoyed this have a look at your stock and have a look at your market and try on how to try and and when you look at this you can get a good feel for that particular market or stock you're looking at to see how far it generally runs and how far you could expect this to run um on average from the low to the highest point of view in the in in in, in your particular trade if you uh, when, when you when you're in your trade as well too so traders profit targets okay so let's get straight into this now on, on the whiteboard right what one thing I want I want you to see this here you want to you want to be able to see what the what the maximum is and then what the minimum is okay so as you just saw we looked at we looked at a stock called FCX and you can see roughly like right now or even on the down legs and on the down legs we get we get roughly the I think the smallest has been like 28 percent from memory 28 percent was the was the 28 percent was the uh, I, I think from memory was the was the smallest drop that I saw as much as 30 32 uh, oh, 32 plus percent that's 32 by the way um <laughs> makes sense can you guys see that yep cool so that's that's 32 okay so knowing that i'm in that stock right now i'm in a bit of a funky strategy with that one now but i know okay if i'm looking to take profit on this downward leg where is a good area for me to take profit and i can actually see by looking at that i can actually see by looking at the charts that okay cool once we start to get to that 28 to 30 percent range that's where most of the legs, that's where the market stops and then starts to pull back. So if I'm looking to take profit, that's where I should be looking to take some profit. Make sense? Or looking, at least, again, if I'm looking to take some profit, then that, that's where I should be doing that. Make sense? So anyway, guys, this is a video on how to find really good profit targets based on what your market is doing. Remember guys, this is John Howell here. Remember success can be yours if you go claim it. So step up, take massive action and face your fears today.